Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing good. This is Hemant, and in today's tutorial, we'll see what's in my orchestral template. So let's begin. So firstly, this is my orchestral template, uh, in which I have these sections arranged. Uh, where you can see this sketching piano. That means first I compose on this track and then orchestrate using all these uh, tracks, which you can see below. Now, firstly, there are these markers, pre-roll, count, and start. So, I have given myself 8 bars to prepare things. Never start from 0 because uh, you need to have some space for the modulations and expressions to kick in. So, that's why I have given space here. And also to record, like before recording, you should have four beats. So that's the marker section. And from here, I start the piece. There's this tempo signature and then these tracks. As I said, this is the composing track, which is sketching track. I just sketch some something and then orchestrate using all these tracks. The first section uh, in the template is a uh, choir. So in the choir section, I have a soloist, vocal soloist. Then I have legato patches where I have soprano, alto, tenor, legato and basses. And then I have children's and alto legato, uh, children alto legato. After that, I have ensemble uh, performance patches in which I have ensemble track where I can play with both the hands and arrange some things and then give it to all the sections. Then I have men performance, female performance patch and children performance patch. So the main purpose of orchestral template is to already have the tracks loaded so that we can just click on it and start recording without wasting time going on the track, loading it. Then it takes few minutes to load. Then some patches are very heavy. They take much more time. So the template thing is very easier than the randomly composing thing. I also built this template uh, a month ago uh, because I, I wanted to go to a template uh, thing and it is beneficial. Like I, I have to say that this, this helps you. This helps you so much. So the next section is woodwind. Also, this saves a lot of time. Like uh, these symphobia patches, these take like two to three minutes to load. Now I have to just press this power button and it's loaded in just five seconds. So this is much more easier than just going to here and loading the patch, loading the contact instrument. I just need to click on the track and start playing. So now the next section is woodwinds. In the woodwind section, I have this Duduk soloist. I love this instrument. So I have loaded this one. You can customize your template how you want it to be. You can load your favorite instruments in it and put it off. So in the woodwind sections, uh, first there is a Duduk soloist. Then we have woodwind quintet. Quintet means uh, five instruments. In this one, it's flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoons and piccolo, I guess. This is a patch from native instruments. I have divided the woodwind sections in two parts, two subsections, which are solo and ensembles. Uh, first is quintet. Uh, quintet means all are soloist. Then the second track is flute, oboe, then English horn. English horn patch is from uh, Logix. Let me load it. Let's see. Yeah, so this one is from Logic's uh, stock. Then we have clarinet solo, then we have bassoon solo, then contra bassoon, saxophone, all the instruments loaded in the solo section. Then these are symphobia patches. So I have loaded the libraries which I love. You can load your favorite instruments in it, which are your go to instruments when you want to play a flute patch and a library comes to your mind, which is available in your contact. So just load those libraries, don't load the other ones which you have and you don't use it often now there is ensemble patch 
ऑनजम्बल पैच है स्केच थिंग्स विथ बोथ द हैंड्स देन वी हैव बेस विंड्स ऑनजम्बल विच इज बसून बेस क्लैरिनेट कॉन्ट्रा बसून एंड थिंग्स देन वी हैव फ्लूट्स ऑन जम्बल द सेम इंस्ट्रूमेंट सेम वुड विन फैमिली I love these essentials, native instruments, essentials, and symphonia. So I have loaded those. Now we have brass section. Same thing for brass section. There are soloists and ensemble. First track is the brass quartet. Then we have solo horn. Solo horn patches from Logic's stock library. Then we have native instruments, essentials. This is a great library. Like I love this uh, native instruments, essentials. so i have loaded this patch then solo 2 then trumpet trombone and tuba if you know the brass family there are these instruments in the family then i have symphobia solo horn loaded and then there are logics horn section which includes trumpets trumpets 2 trumpet 3 trombone 1 trombone 2 and bass trombone these are also amazing sounding patches you can use those if you have logic then we have brass ensemble brass ensemble which is the same thing i can play uh, with my both hands and sketch something and then divide it and bring it to the individual instruments which are like horns trumpet and give the different lines to different sections then i have first horn and second horn so horns always sound good in pair or we can say very incomplete without the second one it they they sound very good in pairs so horn one horn two then trumpets it's ensemble patch which is all trumpets playing together then trombone patch then tuba patch then there are symphobia patches which are like multiple brass instruments which is horn ensemble then this one is i guess so horn and tubas then we have trumpet ensembles then the next one is horns and trombones legato patch so yeah so that's in the brass section then we have orchestral percussions which includes everything from native instruments essential percussions which is orchestral percussion kit bass drum field drums snares toms cymbals gong tam tam chimes and the other things now we have tuned percussions tuned percussions involves piano piano comes to a percussion family because when we play a note on piano the key hits the string so when we are hitting something with our hand so that's why piano comes to a percussion family tuned percussion because it's tuned it has a tone then next patch is uh, labs soft piano which is free this is uh, spitfire audios library uh, i'll put the link in the description and the next patch is celeste which is one of my favorite instruments and yours also if you have heard john williams <laughs> harry potter <laughs> the next one is music box which is same like chillers but it has some different qualities so i have loaded it i love the instruments that's why then there is hand pan then tubular bell and the other mariamba timpani and things all these patches last four are from native instruments essential then we have additional percussions which has damage if you know uh, heavy or city is damage it has a very great and awesome cinematic percussions thing you can program a percussion track very quickly in this so i have loaded this one in this so first there are low percussions low ensemble then mid ensemble and highs always divide your percussions in all three because it helps you in the mixing thing so this is low mid and high then we have kit where i'll have the single instruments like a uh, stick percussion stick or something like that so this is lows mids and highs then i have others where there are i have just loaded the empty tracks if i want to load some other instruments in it i'll just uh, go here and load an instrument from this so the next section is drum kits drum kits have all 
all these three drum patches which i have which i love using i have divided the tracks in like five tracks one is drum kit where i sketch things and then i divide it in kicks and air tom and hi hat symbols same thing for this library same thing for this library now this one you can download it for free labs drum kit i'll link it in description now the next section is keyboards and synths which has electric piano harmonium harmonium is an in indian instrument which is like accordion somewhat like accordion then i have accordion then i have a uh, pipe organ again from uh, labs from spitfire audio which you can download it for free now these are keyboards thing uh, these are keyboard family then we have synths synth i have sub bass i love using sub bass i am a fan of hans zimmer so you should know that then we have alchemy synth i love this synth this comes with logic then alchemy 1 2 3 i have loaded three patches i can go for 5 10 but for now for empty template i have just loaded three instrument which is the minimum which i use in the first synth i might uh, load a pad second i might load a plug third i might load a drone on some or some other thing then the retro synth which is another synth from logic which i love so much uh, again three tracks then again three empty tracks for some other synths that i can use then the next is strings stringed instruments sorry not strings in this section first we have plug plug this harp harp is like we played by plucking the strings then we have acoustic plug acoustic guitar then we have nylon guitar then we have les paul telecaster guitar if you are a guitarist or you are a composer producer you will know these names then there is labs i love labs because they are giving you amazing quality patches for free i love these labs patches dulcimer and charam then next is drum guitar which is native instruments acoustic guitar strum then we have hans zimmer guitars it has all the hans zimmer patches you can see different different patches you can see folk steel then funk then some familiar things so the reason why i have loaded all these electric guitars is i love using them in a score so that's why i have loaded them already the next thing is bass guitars bass guitar and another ample bass so ample bass is also free you can download it i'll put the link in the description please go and download it and use the next thing is uh, solo strings solo strings are la scoring strings legato patches violin 1 violin 2 violas cello double bass then staccato patches spiccato patches all the patches loaded to just turn on the patch and play without wasting any time and this is labs harmonics again labs but i love this library violin patch and cello patch then we have strings ensemble strings ensemble have the same things first native instruments essential again first there is a string patch where i can play with both the hands and sketch it out then i'll give the parts to all the instruments which are violin violas cello and basses then we have las ensemble i love ls scoring strings now we have these ensemble patches which is sustain staccato spiccato pizzicato tremolo and part of pizzicato then we have legato patches staccato patches spiccato patches pizzicato tremolo thrills then sordino then harmonics then we have symphobia patch symphobia has this ensemble where i can just play with both instruments again and sketch it sketch my idea out and then just split the things and put it on whole orchestra then violin octaves these are just customized patches which are cinematically very useful then after this section this is the last section in the orchestra then i have extras extras means 
some sound effects some other other than the orchestra things so i have loaded 10 audio tracks empty audio tracks in which i can just drag and drop sound effects drag and drop some booms some risers some other things i love using all those things also so there is this thing uh, this section after that there is stereo output stereo output i have loaded this track here because if i want to do automation i can do it here i can just select the volume thing put it and automate the volume here i can automate the volume of the whole track so now that was all the sections in my template now how you can divide this in logic pro x is you just need to take a new track take like a empty track there's an empty track you need to just go here reassign track and click on no output will remove everything the recording option the put on option mute option solo option everything and you just need to put in between this this thing so it will divide so it looks very organized also it saves time if you are searching for a solo track you just know here are the solos you just know here are the ensembles so these were the sections in my orchestral template now we'll see what about the reverbs now in the reverbs i have loaded four auxiliary tracks which are empty first one is plate reverb second one is room reverb third one is hall reverb and fourth one is non linear i have loaded these four reverbs because uh, i don't know where i'll need a plate reverb i don't know where i'll need a hall reverb i don't know how where i'll need a room reverb so i i just have to go here send the track to bus number i have reverbs here i just need to click here just put it on we have the reverb for now the tracks are empty but i'll load it while working on the projects according to the project how i want the sound of the reverb to be i'll immediately load the reverbs and then uh, put the sends so yeah thank you so much for watching the video till here hope this helped you and make your own template and use it and try to experiment with all these tracks and sections and try to use them in your projects which will again help you modify your temp templates by time to time you need to modify your template you need to add tracks you need to subtract track which you don't use often and then this template just saves your time okay so do subscribe to my channel if you like the content i'm putting out and do like the video if you, uh, this helped you and thank you so much see you next time